Hello, welcome back to Zelda the Minish Cap. In our last video, we finished climbing Mount Cornell. In today's video, we're going to be heading on to the next dungeon and starting to look for the next element. Killer raindrops, eh? I thought that was only a staple in like European games. It's usually really bad NES or like old computer games have water that would hurt you. Plenty out here where it's pouring, the water won't hurt us. Alright, we got a block pushing puzzle. These so far have been easy. Now just because this is a mountain area, I'm going to assume that we're going to get the fire element from here. Alright, so it looks like we're headed up there with this brick. I almost feel like we've done an entire dungeon just getting up this mountain. Okay, so these are those bricks you can only push in one direction. Alright, that wasn't so bad. I mean, because they only move in one direction, it's kind of hard to screw up the puzzle, at least. Always just checking these for like health or rupees or bombs. This game really does like its choo-choo enemies though. I don't think I've ever fought this many in a Zelda game before. They were in Link to the Past and like Link's Awakening, but not in this volume. Thank <laughs> you. 
Mind you, I guess there were a lot of those enemies in Majora's Mask, they just looked so different. Yet another block pushing puzzle. This one seems fairly simple as well. Winner. Another kinstone. We have so many of these now. Need to start finding people to fuse them with. These guys really don't draw much, do they? I'm always hoping for like health or something and they never give it to me. Out of all those enemies, we gotta walk in one rupee. Alright, so we've made it to Malari's Mines. So this should lead to our next dungeon. So Malari and his seven dwarfs live here. I guess that's all their beds. But not where we're trying to go. It's a cool little place, but so far all these little rooms have no value to us. Alright, this has got to be him. is going to fix our sword. Ah, uh, but we still got to find the other three elements to fix it. So this is the way into the mine, which I'm going to assume is our next dungeon. Mm -hmm. 
Yet another windstone. If only we had some way of using it. I'm guessing they're gonna be like fast travel points later once we have the wind element. Alright, so we can't go that way. Oh, what are these guys called? Like bomb chews or whatever from Mario? Okay, so pots don't kill them, it just activates them and hurts you. Now typically you need the hammer to kill these guys, but we don't have that yet. As usual, as Lo tells us the answer to the puzzle when we're already halfway through it. It's definitely one of the more annoying companions you get in a Zelda game. Oh good, the compass. Nice, I was hoping these hearts would respawn. Took more damage fighting those things than I wanted to, so... Now we're gonna continue on. Oh no, it's a like like. It looks so different in this game. Okay, so those bricks are at least the way back. We need more health, but I think we're gonna go down a floor. place already looks confusing. So I'm guessing we're gonna have a rail car where we gotta switch tracks and do some sort of puzzle that way. You know, I would take the messy hair and no hat just to be rid of this guy already. Okay, that's awesome. <laughs> Just Link screaming and it going out of control is actually hilarious. Okay. 
Oh, we actually unlocked something with that. Oh, is that what we hit from the other room? That was a nice shot. unlocked a way to get smaller so I think we're gonna shrink down and that'll be it for our time for this video so as always thanks for watching and come see us in the next video of the Minish Cap